Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. So which variant of pull resistors do you like more? Pull up or pull down? I guess it's pull down because it seems to be more obvious what is happening, okay? Well, I tell you, there is a reason why you should also like pull up. Huh? Because actually our Arduino is equipped with an internal pull-up resistor. Okay, So we do not have to use an external one. We can turn this internal pull-up resistor just on and then it's working like a pull-up line. Yeah? I don't know the value of the pull-up resistor. I trust that this, I trust that this is good. Yeah? So here we have the program. Yeah? I've used this program for, for our external pull-up resistor. I'm not sure how you solved it. I solved it by adding this little explanation mark. Okay. This explanation mark means not. So I'm reading the state of the button and then immediately inverting it and then the rest of the program. I do not have to take care how it is working. Yeah, why it is working. So right now you see it's again flickering this thing because I just have removed the, the pull-up resistor. Yeah. I will save this now under new name, save as. I will use 5 button internal pull. How do we activate this internal pool? Well, we are not using here input. We are in using input underscore pull up. Ready. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really. Yeah. We're done. Let's make it big, the camera, that we can see. Upload it. Yeah. Upload it. You see it's stable now. Push the button, light. This is how it is done. Okay. Input pull up, define it as input pull up. Then the yellow line here is internally pulled up to 5 volts, too logically true. And if you press the button, it will be pulled down to 0 volts. And because of this explanation mark here, it's already inverted. You see now, this is a program. Okay, I will save this now with a new name. Again, I'll call it small because I show you what is really not necessary inside this program. Yeah. So this pin mode defines this is necessary, but this here, this is unusual long. Yeah. The the thing we really need is this. Yeah. Digital right, and instead of the one, I just use digital read e here, yeah? and the rest I can skip. Yeah? This is using much less resources, much less. Yeah? Is this a word? Much less. Upload, yeah? see if this is still working button. Yes, it is. You see, it's a one-liner. <laughs> but now it's not that easy to understand. Yeah? I just wanted to show you it's possible yeah? to make the things shorter. There are always, you know, limits to this. Yeah? Sometimes there are programmers out there who think this is a, a hobby, yeah? writing everything in one line. Yeah. It is nice yeah? and it's using less resources probably, yeah? but if you have a nice and decent compiler, it's really not that much of a difference. And it's, you know, it's always 
how easy is it to maintain code and understand code and how much you want to shine. <laughs> For me, it doesn't really matter. Yeah? For us, the, the control task is, is the main thing we want to see. If it is coded perfectly to the last comma, no, we are not IT experts. We are mechanical engineers after all. So, right now this really has not that much of a meaning, right? If I press the button, the LED is on. If I release the button, the LED is off. We could have this cheaper without controller. So, next time we are going to talk about to turn it on. Okay, press the button, release the button, shall be lit. Press the button, release the button, shall be off. Alright? This will be next video. Show you how this might work. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.